scene from a quarantine. Day two. This is going to be so great. <laughs> I can read all day. Um, I can stay in my room and no one is going to tell me, um, <laughs> why don't you go out? Or why don't you see your friends? Or you need more friends. <laughs> Joke's on you. Because, well, who is going to be able to stay on their own without talking to anyone for weeks? Me. And who couldn't care less about keeping in touch with a single one of their friends? Me again. <laughs> I wish I could quarantine for the rest of my life. This is going to be so easy. Scene from a quarantine. Day eight. Day eight. So things are fine. Um, you know, it's one thing to say things are going to be easy to stay in the house when you have the choice to stay in the house or you could go somewhere else if you wanted to. It's a much different kettle of baloney when you can't. I actually don't enjoy reading all day. <laughs> all day. A peculiar concept. We say it, but until you've actually sat and stared at the same page for hours and hours and I've done things um, I've alphabetized my books uh, organized my closet um, made a clothing donation pile which is still a pile because well I can't take it anywhere um, I have rearranged my posters into themes and made seven dioramas. And that was in my spare time. <laughs> well, what am I gonna do tomorrow? Scenes from a quarantine. Day 749. Or 13. The situation is dire. My parents, have retreated to separate areas of the house because of the my meeting is more important than your meeting clash of 10 a.m. Which followed the why are you wasting toilet paper debate of 8 a.m. Which followed the 7.56, yeah. 7.56 a.m. That wasn't 20 seconds exchange. <sighs> Send help. Can you believe it? I miss you so much. Not as much as I miss you. I miss you more. Can't believe it. Quarantined. If only they waited one more day for that stay-at-home order. We could have been married. And together. Oh, the rotten luck. Still, we're healthy and well, and this is for the best. We're healthy and well, and this is for the best. Did you get my present? I sent a messenger to your house. Yes, I got it. Aren't we so lucky that messengers are considered essential services? Did you get my present? I did, and disinfected it thoroughly. You didn't have to do that. I'm not sick. You never know. I do know. You could be asymptomatic. You could have touched something. I'm not. You're pretty absent-minded. You could have touched something without realising. Is that right? You sound testy. Because I am. Still, we're healthy and well, and this is for the best. We're healthy and well, and this is for the best. You didn't have to get me a present. I wanted to. You're the very first boy I've ever bought a present for. I hardly knew what I was doing. Nobody teaches you how to buy presents for the very first boy you've ever bought a present for. Especially when you're supposed to think, you're not supposed to think about boys at all. You're supposed to be happy with the one your parents throw at you. Nurse taught me a lot of things, but present buying isn't one of them. You did fine. I'll even go so far to say that you did perfect. Perfect? That's a lot of pressure. This present has to be right. 
This present is a representation of our relationship. If I get this wrong, that means my feelings are false. No, 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 no. I know your feelings are true because I can feel them all the way from your room to mine. Oh, Romeo. Are, are you happy with the present you bought? Totally. I got you the absolutely best present. I'm an awesome gift giver if I do say so myself. Sounds like you do. It was a little tricky because we've only been dating a day. I'm not worried. Oh, good. Shall I open yours? Oh, nice wrapping. I love the paper. Have to see of that. Oh, so much tape. Next time I'll show you how to use only three pieces. You'd be surprised how little you need. It's incredibly satisfying to use these teeny tiny squares and be able to wrap something like a tennis racket, which is not easy. Just and open it. Open it. <clears throat> open it, please. Oh. You hear it? No. They're socks. I can see that. You talked about always having cold feet. Oh, always oh, screwed up everything. It, relax, it was your first time. I've had more practice. Open mine. Aren't you going to admire the wrapping? Nice wrapping? I only used three pieces of tape. A hairbrush? You give me a hairbrush? This hairbrush is specifically designed to get the tangles out of your type of hair with the least amount of breakage. It is a non-slip ergonomic angled handle with a balanced load distribution so that your wrist will always be in the exact right position. A work of art and a work of science. It's beautiful. I had it engraved with your family crest. Yes, yes, you did. Can I ask you a question? I want to clarify something. You want to learn? I'm touched. Because you're so much better at gifts. A hairbrush is better than socks? It has your family crest. Everything I own has my family crest. That is a good present. Sorry. The situation is tense for all of us. Still, we're healthy and well, and this is for the best. The socks are way better. How dare you? A hundred lambs died to get the wool for those socks. The knitter wept because I made her redo the pattern three times. That is a mark of a fine present, chosen with love and care. So you can suck it, Romeo Montague. I'm not sure I can wear socks lambs died for. I'll hear their death bleating when I walk. You are impossible. You are. You are. You. I need social distancing. You're in your own house. How much distance do you need? Maybe we don't really know each other. Maybe the quarantine is going to show us that we don't belong together. Maybe we just shouldn't buy each other presents. Maybe. Yeah. But I do have an idea for your birthday. What now? You don't understand. Things are different now. I wish you wouldn't have come, Miss Douglas. I told you. I have to look after my brothers. There's nothing to talk about. We don't have a computer, and our internet never works. You can leave a packet of assignments if you want. I won't be doing them. I told you, I have to look after my brothers. Have a good life, as much as you can these days. Nothing you say, you don't, stop, stop talking. Don't you understand? Nothing you say matters. It's all gone. Everything I planned for. Graduate. Work at the hotel until the very last second. Pack up my life and escape. Gone. No school, no job, and maybe no college. I have nowhere to go. I can't even leave if I wanted to. I'm here. 
you better go. I have to look after my brothers. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Don't do it. You don't touch your face. No, I won't. I don't want to. Really? Not at all. Not at all. Really. Not even a little bit. The itching isn't driving you crazy. I won't let it. Oh. I understand the severity of our situation. Well? We must be diligent. Right. Don't you think so? Sure, especially when I have friends like you to remind me. These are unprecedented times. I feel like I was made to rise to the occasion in these circumstances of difficulty and strife. I was made to answer the call. Can't you feel the responsibility coursing through your veins? To stand and be in this moment more than you ever could as a human being? Fine, I don't want to touch my face. I can't wait to be a better human being. Good. I don't want to. No. Nope. No. How can you stand it? I never realized how much I touch my face and scratch my nose and rub my eyes. I'm a walking disease factory. A hotbed for infection. A powder puff of plague. All it takes is a little self-control. I'm surprised you can't find it within yourself to dig deep and wrestle with your weakness. We all must do better, Ren. We all must. You just touched your face. What? You just scratched your cheek. I did not. You did, you did. <laughs> So what if I did? I wash my hands every 15 minutes. I wipe down every surface and doorknob on the hour. I'm totally germ-free. Uh, I have it all under control. You've got weakness just like the rest of us. <coughs> Today's a good day. Don't touch your face. We've got to wrestle with our weaknesses, or gently live with them. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Who's there? Mm. I know you're there. I can hear you. Oh, fine. 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 Hello? You. Surprise. You're not welcome here. Get out. Aren't you pleased to see me? Not even a little. Why would I be pleased to see the thing responsible for a global pandemic? Oh, stop! you Why would I be pleased to see a disease? in my home. Disease is such an ugly word. I prefer COVID. It's short for COVID-19. I know what it's short for. Not the name I would have chosen for myself, but we do what we can. And it does seem to be in everybody's lips these days. Still, I do prefer the short term. You can call me by that. Oh, I'm not calling you anything. We're not friends. We could be. We could be best friends. Oh, stop where you are. Get back, get back, get back. What's that isn't very nice. 
I am a pretty fabulous friend. Oh, pass. <laughs> Is that how you treat someone you invited into your home? I didn't invite you. Alex, you did. I did not. Last week, when you snuck out. Shut up! No, I'm not going to tell. I'm your friend. I want you to raise your fist and feel like you're being mistreated by this quarantine. It's awful. I can't believe they don't trust us. We totally can do social distancing. I want you to, to go out and push for things to be the way they were yesterday, last month, last year. Because when you do, when you sneak out, go to a party where there's lots of people to talk to and lots of things to touch, it's lovely. You're rather lovely. But, but, but we, we were careful. I'm, I'm sure you were. There was no one there that was sick. I'm sure they weren't. Not visibly, anyway. I just, I just wanted to see my friends. Face to face, I miss them. But I, I appreciate that feeling, I really do. You know, I have to thank you, Alex. You just make my job easy. Oh, crap. You may not think much of me now, but we're going to have a lot of time to get to know each other. We're going to become such good friends. Oh, just the very best. You'll see. Oh, we're here. That was sudden. Oh, no. Why can't we choose our own groups? Okay, we have ten minutes and then we get pulled back to the main page. Our instructions are not actually working, right? No. What? This class doesn't matter. She can't make us do anything. We get marks for showing up. We can talk about whatever. How surprising. What shows are you watching? Just like class, you do the bare minimum and I end up doing everything. Losers. Hey! What did you say? You heard it, but I'll say it again. Losers. Both of you. You wouldn't say that to my face. Wouldn't I? Let's try it. You are a waste of space. Isn't this a bit of a overreaction for wanting to talk about Netflix? Work or don't work. Your slow descent into a useless life is none of my business. What happened to you? Just wait till we're at school. Just you wait. I'm gonna... Oh, stop it. You're not. Are you telling me what to do? Yes. What happened? I don't know what you're talking about. Did you lose someone? Someone sick? Is that the only thing that would make you care? <sighs> Why is it when people find their voice, it's so annoying? You never talk like this. What happened? Is it your parents? No. My parents are do doctors. Oh, where? St. Joe's. I've barely seen them in weeks. They can't keep up. They try, but there's no end. They're not saying anything, but it's written all over their faces. It makes me feel... I can't. There's, there's a constant lump in my throat, and I feel... Death is at the door. Yes. I'm knocking. Loudly. That's rough. So you know it's hopeless, all this giving us assignments and pretending that school has a point anymore? But I wanted to have a point. I want to do something that feels normal. 
And besides, you acted this way before the whole world went kablooney. I guess, but now it's different. Everything's hopeless and we're lost. Sometimes it feels like that. It's hard to fight. You have to. You have to fight because we're not lost. We're here. You're alive. You can't let this drag you under. Hope is stronger than hopelessness. It always has been and it always will. I know it doesn't seem like that right now, but this is temporary. You can't let go of hope. That's a lot from someone who's here for the marks. I just want to talk. My parents have decided to handle this by working 18 hours a day in silence. My mom isn't doing well. She won't talk either. I'm worried about my grandmother. She's alone. Yeah, so maybe we could talk about movies or music or food. Something normal. Please. I hate eggplant. I hate eggplant too. My mom deep fries it and it doesn't help. Disgusting. I'm against all vegetables. My mum makes smoothies and she pretends that she doesn't put vegetables in them. Mine too. My grandmother doesn't hide them. She just stares at me until I can't take the guilt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a signal from Mrs. D. Was that good? It was. Thanks. Look, I've made up my mind. You can't stop me. I've thought about this for a long time. What else do I have to do? This is my decision and you'll have to respect it. I'm going to cut my hair. I'm going to do it and whatever happens, happens. I live with it. Because I can't live with this. This is driving me mental. Look at it. Look, you know I'm right. I understand that some may feel that hairdressers are not an essential service. But I'm here to tell you that they are wrong. It is essential that I have someone deal with this. And now we're back to the essential, non-essential argument, which no one is going to solve. So it's up to me. I'm the one. I must raise a pair of scissors and live with the consequences. I understand that some may feel that this decision is not important. There are larger issues the world is dealing with. But good hair has a place in this world. Okay? I'm gonna do it. Don't try to stop me. Here I go. Wish me luck. The human is still here. The human is still here. Why is the human still here? What? Huh? Why is the human still here? Isn't it great? It's so great. Great, 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 great. <sighs> Useless. The human always goes away during the day. And now they're not going anywhere. They haven't left the couch in three days. Our human goes places. We go for walks. It's so great. Great, 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 great. Useless. I'm not talking about your pointless mandarings. How am I supposed to properly reign with the human constantly underfoot demanding snuggles? I don't have time to snuggle during the day. I must survey my domain. This is disrupting my order. We have to find out why. Why what? Why the human is still here. Isn't it great? It's so great. Great, 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 great. Useless. This is the best time of my life. You think every time is the best time of your life? Five minutes from now is the best time of your life. We must return order, Lucky. We can't let this go on. Let me think. Hey! Hey! Shadow! Shadow! I have something really important to tell you. It's really, really, what? really. What is it? 
Our human is here all the time. Isn't it great? I wonder why. Useless. The human is always busy, always on the go. That was the strategy from the beginning. Keep the human busy so that I may reign in peace. Something must have happened out there. Out where? Outside. Outside? Huh. Looks pretty much the same to me. But it's not. It can't be. Because nothing is the same. The human keeps looking at me and talking to me and demanding snuggles. Order has been lost. This is not normal. Maybe things will never be normal. What? Not like we know them. Maybe this is going to change your lives forever. And we'll have to deal with it. We'll have to figure it out. And we will. And our humans will. That's what they do. They may whine a little bit, but at the end of the day, they roll up their sleeves and get on. We always go on. Lucky, did you just... speak deeply? What? Huh? Useless. Have you ever said something out loud, like in conversation, where you were trying to be funny or trying to sound controversial, or you just wanted to sound, I don't know, hostile? For fun. Spiky. Like a hedgehog only. Cool. A cool hedgehog. Did you know a baby hedgehog is called a hoglet? They are so cute. Did you ever want to have an aura of chaos for a second? Even though you're actually pretty quiet, rather peaceful, and enjoy a good book on a Friday night? You knew you'd have this much time to read. If people feel you're steeped in unrest, you become cool. Doesn't everyone want that for a few seconds? And I did it for more than a few seconds. I can't wait to we have an apocalypse. The world is going to hell anyway, better sooner than later. And when it happens, and it will happen, I'm gonna live by my own rules. No one can tell you what to do when chaos takes over the world when disorder is the law of the land. People would ask me to say that last bit in holes when disorder is the law of the land. Yeah, so here we are. Chaos, the world, me? Saying something and it actually happening are two vastly different things. I've discovered I'm rather fond of rules and order and going to school. I don't want a hostile adventure. I feel like this is all my fault because I wished so hard it would happen. I'm sorry, I take it back, I take it all back, okay? Is this on? Are we on? Is this on? I can see and hear you. Great. Famine, turn your mic on. This is going to take forever. What are you in a rush for? Isn't your part done? I'm monitoring the situation. There are a lot of moving pieces. It's a scenario that requires constant attention. Right. Besides, maybe I have something else. Maybe I have a date. Do you? No, but I could. Okay. Hey, I can end the world and date at the same time. You know I'm an excellent multitasker. Turn your mic on. Hello? Can you hear me? We gotcha. It's the 21st century. Why don't you know how to work a computer? Why aren't we meeting in person? Death can't make it in person. Death can't make it for five minutes. I was looking forward to brunch. You could take five minutes to learn how to work a computer. If you're going to start in on me, I'll go. I got things to do. What's everybody rushing for? Just because you're not front and center, per usual. Are you saying I'm jealous of a global pandemic? 
if the shoe fits. Ridiculous. All I'm saying is someone isn't getting employee of the year this year and someone is totally gonna get it. Why aren't it death? I don't, ah, in the, in the waiting room. Let me just click. Yes, no, yes, maybe. All right, no, if they're going to push. Hey, death. No, no, absolutely not, Jennifer. Tell him. Absolutely not. I won't be long. Did you send that report to my email? Great, thanks. Hey gang, how goes the battle? Awesome. You have a secretary? Administrative assistant. Well, I'm not a secretary. I wish I had two. Speaking of, can we speed this along? I call to order this meeting of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Yes, I see your hand. Can I get through the call to order first? Why do I have to keep bringing this up? It's the 21st century. We are aware. We're not all men, and when was the last time any of us were on a horse? It's the name of the organization. Bring it up with someone in a higher pay grade. Talk to HR. Anyway, the agenda for this meeting. I didn't get an agenda. I didn't get one either. Did you send it to Jennifer? I'm hungry. I didn't actually write an agenda. I didn't think we needed one. I wish you'd written one up. I wish I had a BLT. There's only one thing to talk about. It's the only thing anyone's talking about. Still, you could have taken five minutes. It's not like you're busy or anything. War is happening. War is always happening. Just because you're getting all the brownie points right now for a jacked up flu. Oh, you are jealous. I am not. You don't see me getting all bent out of shape because Famine is getting brownie points. War, fess up. You're looking a little green. Can we get going? War, pestilence, famine, give your reports. I'll go. I'll. Oh, man. Guys. I gotta go. I just got an alert. The beaches are open in Florida. I'll have Jennifer shoot you a copy of my report. My turn. I don't think I need to point this out, but I will. Things are going great. Better than good. This pandemic is over the top amazing. Why don't you just shoot us your report too? I'm gonna go make a sandwich. But you always want to hear Roar's reports. Unfair. I deserve to be a part of the agenda. I deserve to be heard. I'm going to write all of you up on this. In triplicate. Well, that was a waste of time. Not that I have much to do right now. But I'm not jealous. Hmm. Wonder if I could start a war in Iceland. I am slowly going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch. Crazy going slowly, am I? Six, five, four, three, two, one, switch. My dad asks me how I am every day. He's involved, always checking in. I say, fine, fine dad, thanks for asking. Doing okay. It's easier to say fine than explain, because I should be fine. I should be. I have nothing to be unfine about, other than quarantine, a virus killing people, and the possible collapse of an economy. I should be fine. Everyone I know is healthy. My parents didn't lose their jobs. There are enough rooms in my house for everyone to have their own personal space. I have my own laptop. The internet's great. See what I mean? I have everything to feel fine about. I'm productive. I should be so productive right now. I could practice my guitar. And how many times have I said that I wanted to become better at Spanish? Now's the time. Now's the perfect time to become a better version of myself. I'm not doing anything. And I'm not fine. I'm heavy. 
It takes forever to decide what to wear in the morning. Poor Dorian. You feel bad. Poor you in your big house with everything you could ever want. See what I mean? I can't tell anyone about this. How my arms are lead. And my feet are trapped in cement and the weight. The weight is pulling me down. I can't breathe or see daylight anymore. I haven't seen it in weeks. <laughs> Why do I say that to my dad? Why am I so sad when I have everything? Hello. I love your hats. That is some amazing floor. They're doing some cool things with lemon these days. What do you think you're doing? I'm inviting myself in, of course. You've been outside and you didn't wear gloves or a mask. And that lady coughed and... Ten touches your head on. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't even properly introduced for planning on my part. I'm Kev. Shorts COVID-19. Not the name I would have chosen for myself, but we do what we can. You can't come in. Yes, I can. I'm already in. I'm all over you. It's like we're best friends. We're that close. And it's only a matter of time before we really get to know each other. I haven't touched anything. I haven't touched my face. Oh, it's only a matter of time. Not if I wash my hands. And uh, <laughs> why would you want to do that? It's the first thing I do when I get in. Well, that seems obsessive. I don't want to be your friend. In fact, you interrupted me, so... Oh, wait, 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 um, uh, just before we do that, let's talk, let's, it's shared, confirm with the COVID. You don't have to wash your hands right away. You're here, so I really do. Oh, I was just kidding, I'm not really that bad. Millicans would say otherwise. Well... I can't help it if I'm popular. Then you should go and talk to those people. Oh, but they, they don't count. I, I want to get to know you. Prepare to be disappointed. Fine, fine then. Wash your hands. Just, just see if I care. Done? Wait a minute, wait, wait. Um, um, just, um, wait. Um, selfie. Sure, no, 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 no. I am washing my hands and I'm washing you out of here immediately. You'll be sorry. I have so many amazing jokes and I tell a ton of interesting stories. I, I am a pretty fabulous friend. You kill people. Yes, that is an unfortunate side effect. Out now. Just, just don't wash them for 20 seconds. That, that is a myth. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh, happy birthday. Anything but happy birthday. I really hate that song. Happy birthday to you. <sighs> Seen from a quarantine. Day, who knows? Wednesday, Thursday, soup day. Who knew the days of the week would be the first to go? Cancelled, just like everything else. I went for a walk today, to nowhere really, 
I just couldn't stay in my room any longer. There's a girl down my street who's in my calculus class. We never talk, or we've never talked before. But today, hi, how are you doing? Um, okay, some days I'm okay. Ups and downs. Me too, me too. They cancelled prom. They did? Oh, yeah, they did. That sucks. I bought a dress. When is this going to end? I don't know. No one does. <sighs> that sucks. Yeah, it does. Conversation? <laughs> Who knew I'd enjoy that? <laughs> the sun is shining. It still does that. I'm glad.